welcome back to streamers the video for today is yet another moral story in english so the title of the story is the two headed weaver and the story goes like this once upon a time there lived a weaver and in a small village so he had his weaving machine which was made of wood one day it started raining very heavily and the machine the weaving machine got distracted that was really very obvious because wood will for sure get damaged from the water so what he does is he goes into the woods into the forest and searches everywhere looks everywhere where is the wood that i need for my machine which tree is perfect which tree should i cut down he goes he roams around he checks the wood of each and every tree around him and finally he lands up at one tree so he says yes this is the perfect tree for my machine the wood for this tree will be the perfect one for my machine and it will work really very really good so he's about to just axe down the tree he's about to cut down the tree that a soul a god living inside the tree comes out and speaks to the weaver oh my weaver why are you cutting me don't cut me so uh, the weaver says if i won't cut you today my machine which is damaged from this heavy rains won't be repaired i won't be able to repair my machine and then i won't be able to earn money i won't be able to feed my family we all will die hungry the god understands but he says the god says to the weaver you may ask me for anything i will grant you one wish and choose that wish really very wisely but i am granting you the wish but you cannot cut me you cannot cut this tree because i live inside this tree i will be homeless in that case so the weaver agrees and he says give me a few hours i will come back to you to have a talk with you but before i uh, just tell you about my wish now the uh, the thing that i want from you i would like to ask my friend and my wife that what exactly should i ask you for so he goes towards his home and he meets his friend on his way to his home he narrates the whole situation like how he meets the god and how the god grants him a wish so his friend says now that's good now you should ask him for a kingdom where you will be the king and i will be the chief the viva says that's a really very good idea but let me first ask my wife after having a conversation with her i will uh, then only make a final decision so he goes home searches for his wife in his home and when he meets her he says he narrates the whole situation the meeting of god the wish the friend his plan and then the uh, wife says uh uh-huh. don't don't ask for a kingdom where you will be the king that is a lot of responsibilities you won't have time for yourself you won't have time for your family and you will have a lot of burden because a rank comes with a lot of burden so he says that's true but if i don't ask him for kingdom what should i ask for the wife said you have one head and two hands and right now you are able to earn this much in this many hours so just imagine if you have two heads and four hands your working speed will be doubled you will produce the number of fabric pieces more you will if you are producing one in one hour you will be able to produce two cloth pieces the fabrics in one hour the weaver said yeah that's a super cool idea i must go and ask him for two heads and four hands so he goes into the forest and he asks the god oh god i want two heads and four hands 
please grant me that that because right now if i am able to produce one fabric piece in one hour with two heads and four hands i will be able to produce two fabric pieces that it i will i will be able to earn more and that's great that would be great for me so the god accepts his wish he grants uh, he gives him two heads and four hands so he goes back towards his home like besides a road there were some small children playing something they got scared upon seeing him they said he is a demon and they rush towards their home and then uh, in the meanwhile after listening so much of noise the villagers come out from their home with some sticks and some weapons and started beating the weaver and the weaver finally died he passed away his wife comes running to see what is the noise about and then she discovers oh my god he is no more the moral of the story is before doing anything before saying something always think twice because yeah, because anything that you do in suddenly like if you do it without thinking it will be a total waste you can see the weaver passed away he did not think much he did not put his head into the situation so you should be careful think twice with this we come to an end thank you